I made it to the end. Yes, my last soap before my Covered Bridge Festival in October is going to be made tomorrow. <laughs> I am almost at the end of this huge soap making journey I've had this summer. I am ready to move on to everything else I need to get started for my Covered Bridge Festival. Icy Peppermint is a soap that I make every year. I love the scent so much. It is a peppermint that lasts for a really long time. It's a really good, crisp peppermint scent that's not sweet. I love it so much. I get it from Rustic Essentials, by the way. So when I was looking for inspiration, because I do want to do different things for you, even though it's the same scent, and I thought, I don't want to do the same thing I've always done. And I didn't really want to do the typical like white and red layers or anything like that. I wanted to do something just a little bit different. And I started watching an old videos of Stacy from Yellow Cottage Soapery. So if you don't know who Stacy is, she is a soap maker that had a YouTube channel for a number of years. I think probably six or seven years that she had her channel. She no longer does YouTube videos and I don't believe she makes soap anymore, but I will link her channel down below. She is the soaper that most influenced me when I first started. By far guys, by far she is the soaper that influenced me the most. And she instilled in me this love and des desire to pipe soap. I had no clue that was even a thing. I had no idea you could even pipe soap. <laughs> and her, her piping is just something that is so pretty. She does a really good job of putting her colors together and putting her piping designs together in such a way that I just, I fell in love with just about every single thing she did. <laughs> and she really did instill in me this desire to pipe. And I do want to incorporate more piping in my soaps in the future. And I do want to improve upon that piping skill that I am still trying to get. <laughs> So I was looking back at some of her videos, just trying to get some inspiration. And we're talking six, seven years ago. I started at the very beginning and was just kind of perusing her channel, looking for different inspirations. And I came across a soap that she did. I think I, I'm pretty sure she piped on it, but that's not what caught my eye. It's the soap curls that she used. She uh, took an old bar of soap and she took a cheese planer grater. I mean, it's not a grate, but it's like the slicer, the cheese slicer. I have one. Uh, she took that and made soap curls out of an old bar of soap and then stuck those on the top of her soap. And then guys, I was watching Lisa's channel at I Dream and Soap. She used the cheese slicer thingy to make uh, wood for her beaver soap. And I'm thinking, okay, two videos in one weekend of using that cheese slicer I need to use it and I need to do something with that. So here is my plan for tomorrow. So I did try to do this with cold process and guys, I failed twice. <laughs> Me and small batches, we don't get along with that cold process. I struggle with the really small batches. I don't think I'm getting them um, 100% uh, emulsified or, or something because it just never sets up or if it sets up, I have a horrendous amount of soda ash. So I ended up making a melt and pour little thing here and I'm going to slice those into curls. And I'm just gonna have a peppermint explosion on the top of the soap. I haven't really decided the design plan for the inside, but I am gonna do some white piping, billowy white piping, kind of build it up and then have these uh, curls shooting out over the entire uh, soap. I think it's going to be fun. I hope you stick around to watch the making of this Icy Peppermint Explosion soap. Let's see how this is going to curl. It's been so long since I've done that. Well, the red fell off. <laughs> That's all right. I want to kind of maybe do that. I need it. I 
I don't want them all to look the same, I guess is my, my thinking. Ah, and I want them to be kind of like that. Not, not like totally circle, but off center, kind of like that. Yeah, and then that's fine too. I'll take these little pieces and still stick them in as well. I think that's gonna be cute. back like literally about two hours later to finish this so so I'm probably gonna be fast forwarding all of the parts of this soap until I get to this because earlier today my daughter-in-law was over and we had a bit of a photo shoot for a website I am trying to uh, update so I wanted some action shots to put on there so she came over and was taking pictures while I made the soap so there was probably some flashing some talking <laughs> so that is why that part of the video is just going to be a bit of a fast forward paste no sound I forgot how freakishly long this fragrance oil takes but this was taking so long she was gonna do some pictures action shots of this part portion but this was taking so long <laughs> I, we were both getting tired and over it by the time this got ready so for this part I think I'm just going to kind of build it up just a little bit I'm not gonna do you're not really gonna see the piping so much on this part It's going to be more of the soaps that's sticking out is going to be the main focus. So I'm just going to do this and maybe layer it up. I weighed that off this time, 25 ounces. <laughs> okay, let's see what I can do as far as, I'm gonna bang this just a little bit. And the only reason I bang it is you kind of mess up your piping, but all of those ridges will start crumbling if you don't kind of smooth it out just a little bit. Uh, just something I've learned Let's see, how do I want to do this, guys? I'm not actually sure. I kind of like just the... I'm tearing them. I don't know if you can see. I'm kind of tearing them. I don't think I want the full circle.
You know, guys, I have these ideas. <laughs> and then in the midst of doing them, I'm thinking, this looks so dumb. <laughs> I mean, maybe, you know, you guys always tell me stop, you know, stop doubting myself or second guessing myself, but it's not exactly like the explosion that I was kind of envisioning. So as usual, it's not exactly what I was going for. I think I'm gonna call it, let's put some glitter on there. <laughs> I think this is the glitter that I think is really, really gaudy. I'm almost positive. So I'm gonna do the gaudy glitter. There is a time and place for gaudy glitter because that looked pretty good. All right, guys, I'm not gonna see pop this. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Let's cut this up. <laughs> I'm going to hold back judgment because every time I think it looks silly in the mold and then I cut it into bars and it looks fine. So I'm not even going to say a word <laughs> until I get it into a bar. <laughs> oh, the ends are still a little soft. I may have to put you guys on hold and cut it in a day or two. It's just the corners, though, it feels like. All right, we're going to go for it. I'm going to try not to hurt my topper there. I took a black marker. Have I shown you that yet? So that I know which tooth to go into and I don't have to measure every time. Every once in a while I'm a thinker. <laughs> every once in a while. I can't get it apart. <laughs> It may be a little too soft for this still. Yeah, I messed up that last end piece there, trying to get this apart. I lost a couple of my end beds, but not too many. Quite a bit of red on the inside. Clearly, I was going for a, a good amount of red this time, since it was just the two colors. And it's a fun soap. All right, let me get this out of the way, and we'll get the other cutter over here. That's pretty soft. <laughs> that went through with no problem. <laughs> I am definitely going to have to let these sit out for a couple more days before I do anything more with them. But let's just take a look at a couple. You know, I'm glad I hold, held out judgment. <laughs> I think that's cute. Dang it, guys. I didn't take a picture. I suck. <laughs> I was like, I'm never going to be able to put these things on social media if I don't learn how to take pictures with it in like one big slab. Ugh, so maddening. All right, I'm gonna give them a few days, let them dry up, clean them up a bit, and then we'll come back. All right, guys, it has been a week or more since I made the soap, and I just have to share with you guys. I went on vacation, and it was so relaxing. We went up to the Upper Peninsula, of Michigan. I'd never gone that far, far north and looking at a map it's like wow we were really up there. <laughs> we drove. That's what we do. We drive everywhere. Uh, so we went on up and I got to see like Michigan which I'd, I'd seen the southern part of that before but like Huron if I'm saying that right. Uh, we got to see Torch Lake. So we did all the touristy things. We went to Mackinac Island and and walked around the Grand Hotel. 
all that stuff. So I just wanted to share that with you. I just feel so energized and refreshed and excited to be back down here. Now, when I left, <laughs> and I think I may have even said something along these lines when I left, that this was my last soap and I was gut sick of making soap, guys. I was so over it. I was so glad to be done with it. And I tell you what, I just can't wait to make soap. <laughs> what a week will do for you. <laughs> I was so inspired. And just like last year when we drove out to Colorado, this year I really did just binge watch a lot of soaping videos. Specifically, Stacy over at Yellow Cottage Soapery. I watched all of her really old videos to get inspired by. I have ideas. I took notes. I saw sunsets and sunrises that I took notes on. I saw a t-shirt. I was like, that would make a great soap. <laughs> I should have bought it. <laughs> oh, so anyway... Uh, I am ready to make soap. I'm excited to make soap again, and I don't need to make soap <laughs> at all. I have so many bars of soap on my shelf right now that uh, I need to cool it. And I do need to move on to other things before my, I think I counted five weeks. So I have four working weeks until uh, my Covered Bridge Festival. So that's just an update on where I'm at with everything. So I have four weeks before Covered Bridge. I'm excited to make soap again, but it's going to be a couple months probably before I can dig it down here and do anything. I think I still want to try to the challenge this month. It's the plaid currently, the buffalo plaid. I may or may not, guys. I really have to get a move on with other things, but we'll, so we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about this Icy Peppermint. I really, really enjoy the scent so much. And I think it's just because it's a peppermint without being sweet at all. It's just very fresh, invigorating. It's a really strong peppermint without sweet. And I love that about this scent so much. The explosion, I was expecting like explosions. <laughs> and I got to thinking this week in the car, <laughs> I really would have done better in a loaf mold that I could build it up, kind of like a high top, and then have my um, curls coming out of a higher peak. I think that would have been more in, in what I had envisioned. So I'm on the hunt for a bigger loaf mold, if I can find one, uh, that's going to hold, you know, seven or eight pounds maybe. I I. I, I I have to look at that and see if I can find one. Uh, but I don't want to, I mean, I need, there's times that the nine bars are perfect. That That's what I call it, my nine bar batch mold. They make nine bars with the two little end pieces. Uh, sometimes those are perfect. And I could do, and I think those are like three, I'm going off on such a rabbit trail. Good night. Let's move on. Who cares about my soap molds? <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm just <laughs> back to my old self. I'm just talking about whatever comes into my head, you guys. <laughs> I have to focus. Let's focus on this. But if you know of a good uh, tall and skinny uh, loaf mold that's big and holds a lot, let me know. <laughs> All right, here they are. I think it's really cute. I mean, again, the explosion isn't really the explosion I was going for, but I think they're fun. It gives the soap some something fun and, and different. So I'm happy about that. I appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope the middle of it wasn't too haphazard for you with the taping and having my daughter-in-law do some action shots for my new website. More information on that coming soon. I'm rambling again. <laughs> I don't know what's coming up next, but whatever it is, I hope to see you there, guys. Bye.